In this video, I just wanted to show you the fonts in Canva and what you can do with them and the different types of fonts that are, are available. So with Canva, we know it's a graphic design platform and you have the option of a lot of different fonts. There is, when you are creating um, a design, so say we're putting together um, a template and we want to change the fonts of the text. So you have this strip across the top of his. Now, when you select anything within your design, this will change dependent on the design or dependent on the element. So I've selected this copy espresso and I can do so many different things with this font. I can change the size, the color, bold, italic, underline. I can change the um, alignment of it as well. So there's lots of different options there. I can bullet point it. I, um, if I've got multiple lines, I can change the spacing. I can change the font as well. So here, in this box here, you will have this come up. So there are hundreds and hundreds of different fonts in Canva. There is no way of saving your favorite font. So if you know what fonts you use often, you do have to remember them. And they are done in alphabetical order. But there are hundreds and hundreds of fonts in Canva. You can also change the effects on each of these fonts. So I love these. These are relatively new, um, but this one is obviously none. Then you can give it a shadow. You can give it a, a sort of a background lift. You can make it hollow, splice, an echo. There's a glitch effect in which you can change the colors and there's also a neon effect. You'll notice each one of these has different options at the bottom. So you can do different things with each of the fonts. Some of them you can change the colors of the background shades as well. You can also give them a curved text effect, which is fantastic. A relatively new feature, but works so well and it was so needed within Canva. So that's just a few things you can do with your fonts with your text, but you've also got this animate section. There are a lot of free ones and if you hover over each one you will see the font does something different within the design. So you can animate your text individually within a design as well and I love that. So many different ones. The ones with crowns they are paid, ones with nothing are available with the free account and the pro account. So there's a lot you can do with your fonts, but you also have this text box here. Now, you have here your three main fonts. These are the fonts that are in your brand kit, because Canva has a brand kit. If you're on Pro, you can add in your three favorites. So you can add in the three fonts you use all the time, but only three. You can also upload fonts as well. So if you find one you love from Google, it's not in Canva, you can easily upload right here. <clears throat> Obviously with um, the free account, you don't have this option. And that's what I mean when I mentioned you need to know which fonts you're using because you cannot save them in Canva. So if I go back to my design, I will just show you the text box here. So these are the three fonts that are in my brand kit, which I can use um, all the time. And I just click it, it will open a text box in that font and I can use it. But Canva also has a huge amount of font combinations. So a lot of these you will find there's two different types of font that work well together. And that's why they've done this, so that you can create a quick post using one of these and just change the text to your own. And you've got a really lovely looking design with fonts that work well together. But you also have neon fonts. So neon is a good keyword. And there's all of these amazing, sparkly, retro 80s type fonts as well. So this is just a super quick overview of fonts and text in Canva and what it can do. So I just wanted to let you know there is a huge amount that you can do with fonts in Canva. I hope that's been really helpful.